So here we're looking at the different cut types. Uh, okay, here's inside cut. Uh, you'll see here we've defined the geometry in our, uh, our SVG file as this black line. So when we describe it as an inside cut, we make the fill white and the stroke black. Um, you'll notice Origin's behavior is to cut on the inside of this line. So you'll see we've got a quarter inch cutter running around on the inside of the line. So the idea is we cut probably the whole way through and this will result in the hole being the diameter or sorry the dimension of the shape we design. So the same principle applies to outside, outside the line. Uh, this is described as a black fill. Um, we don't need a stroke for that and origin behaves by cutting on the outside of the defined geometry. So this is the dimension of the shape and that's what we'd be able to uh, take out at the end. So we'd cut the whole way through and uh, the, the geometry we describe in our SVG is what remains in the middle. The waste is on the outside of this one. So onto online, this is described as a gray stroke and origin behaves by following that with the center of the cutter following the center of the line. So it can be used for open curves, uh, whereas outside and inside require closed shapes to know what is the outside and inside. This will just follow the line blindly, but the downside is you can't use offsets because it doesn't know which direction to go. There's, there's not necessarily an inside or an outside of an online cut. So you'd use that for, uh, for text. You'd use it for uh, any time you're sort of engraving, things like that. Um, that's a handy one. Uh, next up, we've got pocket. So this is uh, defined by a gray fill, no stroke. Um, so what it is, is kind of paint by numbers. It enables us to mill out all the material inside a line uh, down to a specific height. So it's a little bit similar to inside cut. In fact, the, the final operation when you do a pocket is to, you'll see here, I've done an inside cut around the outside edge. Pocket actually steps in from the, uh, the final dimension and enables you to remove all this material. You'll start, see I've started down here removing material. Um, and then you follow up by doing an inside cut and uh, then you have a pocket that will accommodate whatever shape is described in your SVG. Now, last but not least, uh, guides. So these never generate toolpaths. They're designed for just uh, notation, leaving notes to yourself or uh, say center lines or alignment uh, to geometry in the real world. So when you go to place something, uh, if you've got a mark you want to align to in the real world, you can just place a guide in your SVG and use that to sync the two up perfectly. So uh, guides are blue fills or blue strokes.